six fumble podcast you know who this is it's your host page the maniac give me a follow on all social media platforms as written here on the screen make sure you hit that subscribe button fumble podcast on youtube uh spotify for video video on those two platforms and uh anywhere else or anchor dot uh, fm forward slash fumble podcast um quick update on the situation in iran um it's been circulating now as you know they have uh the uh the irgc the the terroristic regime as recently as yesterday um even uh at the knowing that the whole world was talking about and and screaming um to not allow these three innocent uh protesters to be executed uh majid kazemi saleh mir hashemi and saeed yagubi um unfortunately uh that regime doesn't care and they went through with it and um we lost three more innocent people uh at the hands of this uh, brutal regime this is why you see it all the time all over uh social media you see it all over uh any iranian you've spoken with or or follow uh diaspora and obviously within iran it's a full-blown revolution it hasn't stopped it hasn't slowed down despite what the media tells you it has not slowed down uh in any means and um it's only getting stronger because more innocent people are being victimized at the hand of this regime so why am i saying this because it is pivotal that the world speaks about this that's 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 how we show that the world the people we we have the power um governments they have their own agendas they're not some of them will stand up for the people most of them right now aren't and that's just the truth that's the reality uh i'm, I'm not here to get into why they're not getting into it because honestly it's all political and this is not about politics this is all about human rights so uh amplify the voices uh share about iran and and the more pressure there is through social media the the less that government can get away with um they've been getting away with it for 44 years but it's it's uh they're basically taking people on their way out basically is what they're doing and um as the latest thing i heard was the execution rates have gone up to as high as uh one every six hours and and that's insane okay and it should not be especially they're innocent like like that shouldn't even be a point of discussion so you saw, you see my post i'll i'm never going to stop posting until iran is truly free and rid of this uh terroristic regime and um i hope that you can also share it all right i wanted to get that out the way now to light it up a little bit all right um as you guys know i uh <clears throat> I was part of this group um, called The Set. Uh, I was uh, honored enough to uh, be part of two of their shows. Um, and I'm bummed because I am moving. So it's bittersweet that I cannot be uh, ha enjoying the old man scenes that I got <laughs> from uh, <laughs> from the uh, two of the three that are uh, kind of running this program. I got, I got two of them here uh, with us today. On episode 106 um a quick intro uh if i may wayne uh cunnert um grew up in sacramento with a childhood obsession for watching and recording every sketch comedy tv show onto vhs like snl and monty python which i loved uh with a little bit of theater experience from performing in plays he joined the sketch comedy group the set in 2018 um, he manages the set's social media presence and coordinates the show's bookings by day. He works as a digital marketing specialist. Followed by uh, David Humphrey, who uh, has is multi-talented. This is my own thing I'm adding because he can write and he can show it uh, perfectly, in my opinion. Um, and many share that opinion. David Humphrey was born in Guam to an Air Force family. Wow, I did not know that. And has lived in a lot of places that all look the same from inside an Air Force base. Uh, in the alarming amount of alone time he's had in his life, he's spent a lot of time pondering what he was to become. He has chosen 
clown. And he put that in quotation. Hedge, how dare you slander me like that? <laughs> I'm just reading what you sent me, all right? <laughs> but uh, I did add a bunch of other disses after that myself. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> it, it ends with ring the bells. Ding, ding. All right. Welcome to Fumble Podcast, Wayne and David. Thank you. Um, Thank you yeah. for having me. Hundred percent, absolutely. I, this is uh, long overdue. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with you guys for well over a year now, and um, been wanting to get you guys on properly. Um, Daniel is the third amigo. Uh, we, we're going to have to have him on at another date, um, and he gets the special treatment of a one-on-one -on -one episode. <laughs> and I think he knew that. That's why he said he's not coming to this. What one. a power <laughs> play! My God, <laughs> does Damn he it. have no shame? <laughs> Damn you, Daniel! Damn it! What a New York move of him. No. Um, <laughs> um, guys. Let's, upstaged on a podcast. How does he I, do that? I know. And my stage is my parents' house. It's not even a stage. Oh, so. damn. <laughs> um, so let's go into the origin story uh, of the set. So, David, take it away. Oh, I don't know how much I'm allowed to tell, so I'm going to completely overshare. Uh, we... <laughs> Uh, we were brought together uh, by somebody who was being uh, removed from another group, mm -hmm. um, and he owned the place where they performed, and it was a, it was a wonderfully fun uh, series of complications. Um, I knew a bunch of people at that theater, and I loved their improv. It was comedy sports. It was great. It was very uh like a wonderful show to watch. You could just show up and everybody there is so friendly and so welcoming. It was a great community. And one of my friends said, Hey, I'm going to be in a sketch show. And I thought, great. Uh, that's, that's going to be, that's going to be another thing to see and see what happens when people have their wits about them, write things out ahead of time and rehearse and, and actually it was something that's, uh, uh, structurally thematic and and so i went and i saw things and i saw very good things and i was kind of inspired and so i uh wrote something up just because i wasn't doing anything else creatively at the time well okay i was doing like three or four things but not eight or nine things so i wrote up the script and i sent it to my friend uh and he sent it to the the owner and uh, the owner said, hey, uh, this is actually pretty great. Would you come to a meeting to uh, discuss it and, uh, you know, talk about edits and talk about things like that? And I was like, OK, sure. I I just sent it to him like, hey, this is something I wrote. Do you want to use it? Do you want to not use it? It's OK. No, no, no foul on that one. Uh, so I went up to the meeting and it turns out that. Uh, they had broken away from the other group that I had seen. And <laughs> this is a completely brand new thing that I was getting sort of poached from, I guess. Um, You're trapped. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, well, what did I want? I wanted to uh, be a little more involved in this. And here I am being a little more involved in this. So, yeah, um, that was the first part of 2014. And after a little while, we did some writing. We did some getting together and talking about things and who else are we going to bring in and and all that fun stuff. I think I was the last person added, and I was sort of an accident. Uh, <laughs> but then on six seven, we had our debut show, and uh, I love every single person who came to any of our shows in that era. Uh, the people who were kind enough to laugh at what we were doing, we didn't know, di didn't have good direction, didn't have good uh, chemistry, and didn't have sort of a, a theme. We didn't have a voice, and mm. uh, for a long time, we were shedding people, we were bringing people on, we were losing people bringing people on and there are some interpersonal conflicts and things going on and uh and we lost the theater for a while and things got a little crazy for a little bit uh but over time what i found is that the people who stayed with us were the people who loved to laugh the people who got the vibe and from that uh, bit by bit um just just in the way culture informs itself uh we just got a really strong group of people who understand each other well enough that like when he writes this, this is what I know he means, but also I'm going to bring my entire own dimension to the character uh, to surprise him with something, which I believe somebody uh, hosting this podcast did last time. Mm. Uh, uh, the Hitman character, I I had something completely different in my brain. And you you came out with, with sort of the, the tight-lipped jaw to the side. Uh, uh, kind of kind of <laughs> thoughtful, but a, a little bit, uh, a little bit disrespectful and a little bit uh, apprehensive, uh, and and just not sort of the the classic Italian mobster guy, and it and it was great. And we have 
people in the cast who will do that to me every single time. And it is inspiring and it is wonderful. And Wayne's been real great about that too. Uh, he, he's always asking us like, what kind of character is this? What kind of character is this? What kind of character is this? And, and he really wants to get inside our minds and, and bring that out. And But there's a, a human element to him too. Uh, so it, it manifests in a way that we're not ready for. And uh, sometimes we're just not ready for the energy he's bringing. And it's, it's the best possible way to do it. Hmm. Well, we're here to mess up your scripts and your world, and that's why I did what I did, and I'm not sorry, and uh, it's fine. Yeah. Well, fine. Be that way. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, it was uh, – I honestly – that <laughs> just to, to button up that, uh, the mob guy that I came up with, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was hilarious. I, that was the – I just was like, all right, I'm just going to be this guy who doesn't laugh at anything, and he's just an asshole, and he's just going to come into the scene <laughs> – <laughs> and uh, well if you look at the demographic of the writers uh you'll find that there there is certain elements that we are never going to be qualified to reach and we try to write for anyway just because yeah it, it's fun to write about but there are people who know a lot more about things than we do and bring a reality to it that just comes in and just bam hits us and this is why we love a cast of as many people as we can, a diverse a group, uh, people coming from experiences who can say, hey, that thing you wrote, it's bullshit. Let me tell you why. And we go, yeah. yes, thank you. <laughs> well, it takes a team effort and, and a humility on your end to, to be open to that. And, and I think that's part why uh, uh, the set has been going strong for so many years and will continue to, to do that. Um, and then uh, a quick uh, segue, since you brought Wayne's name up. By the way, I'm so professional. I didn't even check with Wayne to see if I pronounce his last name correctly. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I didn't. And that, uh, <laughs> But please, enlighten me on how I should pronounce your last name. Case Whistle, isn't it? It is Kunert. Kunert, see? Uh, I went, I went okay. ooh to ah. Yeah, my bad. Uh, it's, it's uh, yeah. Not everyone has an easy last name like Humphrey. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't easy in uh, elementary school, let me tell you that. <laughs> oh, okay. I can see. I can see that. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> so, Wayne, when did you join the gang? I, I, I joined the gang officially in uh, 2018. I, I joined them on stage. Uh, before that, uh, I, I happened to work with the other, the other writer. Uh, I mean, I happened to work. Okay, here's the thing. I happened to work with the spouse of the other writer. Uh -oh. I did at the time. And okay. yeah, I worked with her for quite a, you know, at, at actually two different workplaces. Uh, but that's, you know, a long story. But uh, anyway, she was always like, hey, you seem to like all this comedy stuff. You know, you should come down and see what my husband does, uh, you know, Dan. Yeah. Uh and, you know, and just just taking the show and see if that's something, you know, that that you would even just even if you just want to watch it. So I'm kind of like, OK, OK, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll go watch it. And, I was, you know, first time I went was, you know, I I don't think they went into, you know, there was there was another group that a lot of the same people were right. were in. And I, I saw I've seen I saw both the set perform and this other group, uh, you know, which both had Dan and Dave in them yeah. and several other cast members that have, you know, since gone in and out and been, you know, and have been in shows lately. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I, I was so impressed by that stuff. I was like, oh, this is so funny. This is great. I can't believe these guys are doing this stuff, you know, just every three months or so. This is, this is, this is really funny. And uh, gee, I don't know if there's, you know, there, I don't, don't know if I'm, you know, I'm not qualified certainly to be in this kind of thing, but you know, I, maybe I did some acting 20 years ago, but uh, yeah, these guys, I mean, they know what they're doing. So I was like, okay, well uh, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, I, I kept getting pushed basically by, by her to say, you know, get in touch with Dan, see what, see, you know, if you're really like this stuff, maybe he can work you in somehow. And I'm like, okay, well, okay, well, Oh, Dan does videos, by the way, that we, that they show little, you know, little parts of in between the sketches while they're setting up and like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I saw that. Okay. Maybe you could be in one of those. I'm like, Oh yeah, yeah. I could do that probably. And then, cause, cause we could do several takes and I can eventually get it right. <laughs> and okay. Then, you know, I did a couple of those. They showed them. One of them had my son in it, who is also now, you yeah. know, my son, Arthur Coonert yeah. is, now on stage with us, but he started the same way I did just being in these little sketches that, you know, video sketches that 
Dan put together before the show, you know, to show in between the sketches. Okay. And, you know, so after I did those for a couple shows and was like, went to the shows and saw the reaction, you know, everybody loved it. I'm like, okay, okay, no, no, I can't, I kind of, if I, I don't know if I'm good enough, but I, I want to be in the group and I want to be on stage hey, guys. I mean, you'd think you could, could, is there somewhere you could work me in? And they, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Until I got confident enough to go, okay, I, I think I, I'm not ruining these sketches by being in them, you know. <laughs> I mean, you're being very, you're being very humble. <laughs> and, oh, thank you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm... No, but I don't mean to be. I just, you know, I'm still in awe of the talent of yourself and any, you know, the writers and everybody, you know, just like, oh well, yeah, they know what they're doing, but I'm, you know, I'm just happy to be here. To, to be the straight man or whatever it is I need need to be in this in this sketch. I'm just, you know, I'm just so happy to be here. I don't <laughs> Oh man, come on. It's uh it was it was uh I, I'm I'm as you're you know being uh so kind to yourself <laughs> right now, I'm I'm remembering uh our last uh, performance and the grocery store uh set sketch. <laughs> and that that I would like your face is, and and your character is like right in in my face right now. Like I can see it because like to me that was one of the highlights. And and thank you. And that's no disrespect to the other amazing actors and actresses that were in that. I'm just saying, your you you nailed that scene. You nailed your role. Like, I mean, seamlessly. Wow. It was beautiful. I, and and I'm not just saying that because you're here. I would have said that even if you weren't here. Even when I'm going to bed, I would just talk about you. I'll just be like, Wayne is great. And then I just, you know. <laughs> yeah, speaking kind of on behalf of Dan, too, here, uh, we, the writers, will occasionally have a role come into our brain. And, and we're like, it's, this is definitely Wayne, no question about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it feels really good when I know Dan has said, you know, or Dave has said, I kind of wrote this with you in mind, Wayne. So take a crack at this one when we're reading. And I'm like, okay. I think I can do this, you know, and they'll correct, they'll correct me, you know, like, no, no, he goes this way. Well, you know, this is his motivation. He's, you know, oh, he's, you know, completely, he's not soft on this issue at all. He is just hardcore. He wants, you know, so. Well, well to me, like yeah. the fact that they have you as a, as an actor or even a specific character with you in mind, that, that tells me all I need to know about your acting ability. It's, it's there, you know, that's, that's, oh, what thank is. you. Yeah, of course. No, it, again, I'm not just blowing smoke. I'm, I'm talking from what I've seen. Right. Yeah. Even uh, when we saw those videos that Dan put together, we we're like, when's this guy coming to party with us? <laughs> <laughs> I did, just didn't feel I was good enough to eat. <laughs> Sorry, man. You were even better than you wanted to be. No, I was kind of in that, you know, I had to cross that threshold in my mind and just watch the shows a few more times and go, Hey, I can see where there's a place for me in there. I, I think I can see myself in there, you know, with, with some of the, you know, some of the shows I saw when I was starting to be coaxed into that way of thinking. So. And who would have thought that you'd be the one yeah. to save the life of the show? <laughs> <laughs> like we, well, we were that was a weird turn of events. Yeah. yeah. Cause I, yeah. And I don't know if, 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 yeah. So I don't know if, uh, if, if, if Pedge wants to even lead me into that territory, but Let, yeah. let's, let's go. T go yeah, ahead. COVID, yeah. yeah. COVID, you know, even before COVID, okay. We lost our place to reform, to perform before yeah. COVID, but then we, we thought we had something going and we even were, we started rehearsing a new show and then COVID hit, we were done. There was no, yeah, just, just done. So yeah. So there was a good, you know, year and a half there where it was just and like, you joined oh, in 2018. So yeah. like right before the pandemic started. Yeah, our last our last show was was uh, November uh, 9th, uh, 2019. And then we were we were we started rehearsing for the next show, you know, in, in 20, you know, 2020. And yeah. that's yeah, you know, right. We've got like three meetings in and then the, just done, you know. Uh, yeah. 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 So what happened? How did so, you so then you? I, you know. I had been in contact with comedy. You know, I had been to shows at Comedy Spot because I happened to work. This is another person I happened to work with performed at the Comedy Spot at the time. So I was going to shows there and kind of like trying to, you know, meet people there and just kind of, hey, you know, I do a sketch comedy show, too. I, I, I'm in one. And yeah. yeah, I like watching these, too. And, and you know. So when that time, when, when I didn't have one anymore, then I started thinking of, okay, now I can, you know, let's see, let's see, let's put this to work and see if I can, you know, get us, you know, say, Hey, if I could get the band back together again, could we do a show here? And, you know, and I say, so I just, you know, I started, you know, started hitting, hitting Brian up and <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, is this, is this a possibility? He said, yes. And, you know, 
that was, you know, right at the uh, end of uh, what was that? The, the end of 2021. And he uh, is slightly underselling it. If I'm yeah, it so I, I, and it, well, I, I knew, you know, cause I was, and I was, okay. This is the thing is I was still working with, uh, with Dan's wife, uh, Chris. So, um, and I go, you know, I, I think I've got a foothold in this thing, you know, and I think I've got to, I'm going to get us this thing. And it, and she, and she, she goes, tells Dan and, and he's like, Oh, come bullshit. No, <laughs> Wade's just no way. Wade's just got way big dreams and that's just never going to happen. Yeah. There was a reason for the skepticism. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no guys, I, I, I think I've got a, I think I can book us a show really. <laughs> okay. So we heard Wayne's version now. Yeah. David, tell us what, what the reality was. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a very <laughs> difficult place to get into. Uh, you have to it's audition for a thing and you have to take class for the thing to get into the audition and the audition. You have to go up uh, like on a head to head uh, competition night and you have to do really well there for <laughs> what, what is he talking about? I'm writing all this down. <laughs> oh, no, no. That, that, that's the way it was before the Wayne effect happened. <laughs> you just, oh, we, Wayne, oh, OK, because I was a naive and I just I, I just like, OK, I want to do this. I don't even know what I'm doing. If guy. you don't tell Elmer Fudd that he's run <laughs> off the cliff, he can keep running forever. So <laughs> Wayne, Wayne ran into that area. Believe you have to believe. And, and at a period where they needed acts like at just the right time, because Wayne believed and because he could get it together. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, he got the word into the right ear at the right time. Um, and and I believe it was on faith and credit of uh, everyone's faith in Wayne alone that we got a show. Just bam, just got yeah, it. I did, I did sell us, you know, pretty hard. You know, I yeah. said, we're, you know, you know, we're good. And you, yeah. you told them what yeah. uh, what they needed to hear. And that was yeah. that we would routinely sell out shows. Yeah, because because <laughs> we're good. And. I don't don't mean that like I'm good. We're we're we're, we're good. We're damn you know good. We're you guys are great. You know, you know what? what we do is good. So I don't it. have any problem we telling anybody yeah. that. Oh, That's oh, not oh. from ego, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody who's seen our shows knows we're good. So uh, yeah. By the way, the, the two shows I've been a part of, yeah. and I had very little <laughs> involvement in bringing guests, and um, <laughs> both of them had full houses. So the, that's just to with my two uh shows in 2022 and 2023 yeah so. you want us to throw in how you got involved in the set we can talk about that for a second let's do it um uh what what's sh what's your show rated <laughs> it's rated it's rated uh m for mother no i'm just kidding it's rated for everybody <laughs> you know what yeah, yeah. okay so Kids don't um, listen to this yeah even adults <laughs> don't listen to this actually <laughs> cool so. no problem so uh <laughs> Yeah, we're doing a show uh, at a theater, and um, it, it's kind of in a sort of remotish location. Uh, not 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 a great place to get to. It's a place that gives us a lot of room and a lot of seats and a big stage and a lot of versatility. And and we like the place. It's it's just hard to uh, people don't know where it is, and it's mm -hmm. hard to advertise. You don't get any street traffic. Um, we got we got street traffic like once. That's because this guy just wandered up to the the theater. It was like, what's what's going on here? I was like, we're putting on a sketch comedy show. I was like, a sketch comedy show, like like what? I was like, you know, like Saturday Night Live. He's like, okay, can I come in? And <laughs> we're like, we well, got to buy a ticket. He's like, fuck it, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and so, well, whatever mother, you say. <laughs> this mother scratcher just walks right in and gets a ticket and just just at random watches a sketch comedy show, uh, and then has such a good time that he talks to us after the show and says, "This this looks like a lot of fun. Um, how do I get involved in this?" And we'll we'll, we'll see. We might have auditions uh, before the next show. Why don't you get in contact with us about this and this and this? We'll take your information. Blah blah blah. Um, <laughs> I thought that was the last time we were going to see this guy. <laughs> like a hundred percent. I was like, no, no, I took, took away from this guy. He's not going to remember a damn bit of the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true at all. <clears throat> now, let me tell you, mm -hmm. uh, well, it's half true. It is true. The venue. Um, it's also true that I came to uh, see the show with purpose. It wasn't an accident. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I did come in there with the, um, uh, I came to see uh, uh, a friend of mine who was part of that specific show, and then okay, and then what ended up happening is I was like, "This is pretty damn hilarious. I want to be. I want to learn more about this." And then uh, a specific person for that show, and it was the one where <laughs> um, uh, Teresa she was um, 
it was her and then there was that ro- robot character. <laughs> yeah. okay. I can't, I'm trying to remember the name of that sketch. But anyway, I saw that and I was like, I have to talk to her after this. <laughs> and then we once we um, the, the amazing uh, show ended, I went to Theresa. I'm like, you were amazing. Um, how do we get in on this? And then she turned me to you. And then the rest was as they say, history. Yeah, so. and a, a shout out, that was Teresa Sorrentino who had never done a show with us. Well, and, I, and, I, and she, she did it. She did, she did one show, I think one role and uh, captivated. I'm yeah. telling you, yeah, she, she was a natural on there. And then my immediate honest reaction was when she got picked up, <laughs> I was like, holy shit like what you know i was like what if this guy drops her and then <laughs> we were all thinking that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> right. yeah we, we said dude do not pick her up unless you are completely sure and he said yeah i'm like i'm like 39 percent sure like, don't, Good don't enough. pick her up and then the, like they, they talked about it and they're like well if you do this and do this and do this and we're like maybe you should and <laughs> he's like no no no, i got this bro and i was like there are there have never been less reassuring words in the world but i mean well, he, He's yeah, a done. huge guy and he's very strong. He could probably pick all of us up at the same he, time. Mm-hmm. He probably could, especially in spirit. He's he's a <laughs> big friendly dude and we love him and we uh we look forward to seeing him again. A hundred percent, hundred percent. So yeah, that was uh twenty twenty two. And then I did audition and then by audition I I said, You're not allowed to kick me out. I am gonna be a part of this and there's nothing you can <laughs> say. You did? You said that? <laughs> I it was the jaw thing. I just played the mob guy as, <laughs> as, as a regular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad because we didn't have a lot for you to do in the first show. Yeah. Everything that had been written had been written mostly for this person, this person, this person. We we're like, okay, what can we have him do? And God, what was it that you were in that, that oh, I was like, I, yeah, I was the old man in one. Well, yeah. The, sli- the snoring grandpa. But yeah. The snoring grandpa. That must not be what. <laughs> I loved it. I'm, I'm not, I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. I loved it because. It allowed me to kind of work in silence and I was just being able to, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I that was wasn't silence, to... man. That was not silence, <laughs> but you know what? You, you had just the right levels and you added something I hadn't even thought of. And it was, it was just, <laughs> I milked the shit out of it is what he's saying. <laughs> I was like, he was like, you have one line. I was like, perfect. Yeah, I I'm going to use the hell out of this line. But yeah, <laughs> but uh, there was something like maybe there was a sketch that was cut or something that you had just started to, to really uh, branch yeah. out. In. Yeah. But, well, it's there... Davy babies got cut. So we, yeah. Which, yes, uh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. That's right. And I was like, yeah. no, there, there's more to this guy. We need to use this guy yeah. more next time. I'm going to put him in, and make him half a sketch. Just, just this guy. <laughs> I, uh, Davy babies, man, are you guys going to bring We can't that? talk about it yet. Cause we haven't performed it. We're going to do it someday. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great one. That's all you're going to get. Dave is babies. It's just you get the title. And uh, and the rest, you're going to have to wait and see. But um, yeah, man, that was uh, that was fun. I, uh, to me, it was a great way to enter uh, the the crew and, and being able to get involved with that. And then obviously, we just had our last show about a month ago. Um, yeah. And that was fun. And uh, that's when I uh, was honored to have the, the mob character and that was amazing and fun and yeah uh but i gotta tell you the the grocery store one and yeah. and the and the <laughs> and the wrestler who was over the top that was hilarious those two were my favorites from yeah. from this last yeah, and you, you you performed you know just on stage which is just you and nikki and nikki has been one of the longest you know she was in the group long before me so she's okay pretty much from the beginning uh, yeah. you know predates you know me being in the group so <laughs> I got. Oh, she's, she's yeah, great. Yeah, she's great. And uh, yeah. I'm on. I'm on. A, I'm going to ask her to be on here too to uh, you know tell the truth about how she feels about you guys. And oh, no. she's going to be. She's going to blow us away in her yeah. presence. Uh, she is heart and soul. <laughs> just, just beautiful all the way through. It's just mm-hmm. <laughs> no, man. It, she was great to work with, and and her um, uh, her confidence helped me to actually be able to deliver on my end as well. Uh, to the best of my ability. Um, God, she was such a find. She mm-hmm. is. She is. Sacramento has some talents, man. I got to tell you. Yeah. We, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're known for a lot of things, but. <laughs> not know. the good things. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, but not a lot of people can guess. Yeah. That there's we have some talent. great local bands and we have some, you know, great local com- comedians. And that's right. yeah, we don't yeah. get any cred for that. But yeah. 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 And, and, um, yeah. As a stand-up, I've you know I've had the pleasure of working different cities 
In fact, I was just in Oregon uh, at the time of this recording. I was there last night. Um, and it was, uh, they're all great, but Sacramento's co- like stand up culture, I just love how uh, motivating they are. Like, no mm-hmm. one has anything bad to say about anybody. There's not really any like, no backstabbing, huh? no backstabbing. There's not really yeah. that much politics, at least not that I've seen, but I've also heard that uh, being shared with other comics. They also agreed. And, and it's, it's just a loving uh, microcosm that, that makes it so successful. And, and, I'm, and there's a lot of great talents out here. Well, it is, um, it is now it's like that. Uh, we got rid of Rick. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Damn Fucking it, Rick. Rick. God damn it, Rick. He's gone Anyone now. named Rick, anyone named Rick, just don't talk to him. Yeah. Uh, among the culture of the group, there's another name that we use, but we're yeah, we're yeah. gonna go ahead and use an actual today. real one. So let's <laughs> let's just make it Rick. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> let's just say Rick isn't from Sacramento. So, <laughs> <laughs> so. It has, his name rhymes with a lot of things that we <laughs> mention frequently. <laughs> That's a lot of things. Um, well, cool. So uh, I know the uh, the next rendition of the set is in the works right now so um we will stay tuned for the great news once that is available mm-hmm. um i do want to i do want to bring some attention to the social media side uh before we um part ways here but uh when you work the social media of, of yeah. the set yeah you, what's you, i mean if you type in the set sketch comedy you're gonna find us uh right on instagram yeah. on uh yeah, yeah. We're, we're both we're on instagram and on uh on uh facebook so the facebook yeah, and, and that's really all we're on right now but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well tiktok is banned now so it doesn't even matter <laughs> <laughs> it's banned in montana i i read that oh movie. really yeah 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 i was like i didn't even know they had internet but yeah well so. that's because of the like the tagline for tiktok tiktok fuck montana <laughs> <laughs> I they got a little bit spicy about that we're gonna say we only added that because of Rick. <laughs> um, but yeah, the set. So follow the set on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. And, um, and, and our and our logo looks like this. So it is. if you see this, you know that's us. That's not that's not some imposter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, exactly. it looks like a crate because that rhymes with great. Hey, <laughs> that's the only reason you made a crate out of it. <laughs> oh, I, I love it, man. It's um. I love the design too. It's simple, but, but very like all the info you need is right there. Um, and it, it works really well. Um, Dan missed out sucks for him. And, uh, you know, he will Watch have- him hold up a whole show by himself. I think not <laughs> calling you out, Dan. Yeah, Dan, you're called out. Uh, you're too good for a Friday. Is that what it is? No. Uh, <laughs> but, um, I really appreciate you guys. Um, and by no means, you know, my move to uh, the South, as in SoCal, um, mm-hmm. the, the, by no means does that uh, mean we uh, stop this, whatever this is. We're going to continue this. And I will, whenever I'm back in town for an extended period, uh, I will take hostage all of you and write myself no. apart. And I you will won't be, be the first, uh, uh, you know, actor that... Uh, the set loses to that pole of Hollywood. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go find all of them and bring them back. <laughs> well, Jason Zlakis' uh, IMDb rating is just going up and up and up. So Hey, okay, okay. Good to know. See, now I know. Okay. You know, you know what? We lost a lot of people who went nowhere and then lost someone who, like, stayed about where they were. And the last guy is going up and up and up. So you're next and you're going to. Yeah, you're going to blow up, man. Quadratic <laughs> equation says you're, you're reaching the stars. Nice. I wish I knew what that meant but great <laughs> i'm one of those browns that isn't good at math but yeah <laughs> but uh no um it was a pleasure working with you guys and um please let me know when uh you guys do have a date for the next uh set uh performance sketch um and location so i i will be more than happy and i want to plug it on here um and even get you guys back on to talk about that as well um do you guys want to plug your own social media or you guys I, just sit in I box? plug the set i don't you plug the set yeah i i have not posted on facebook in, in time anymore so. fair enough then everyone only follow me okay <laughs> just don't and follow Pedge. Pedge yeah. is freaking hilarious you'll be glad you did 
<laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, this has been episode 106. Yes, I've been doing this for 106 episodes and I'm stopping for nobody because I love my podcast and I love having moments like this to uh, go in depth with. Oh, hey, I know that one. Yeah, she Little was the star of the last sketch. That's right. She <laughs> made a cameo. She made it, a cameo. Just it went well, well. It went so well. We moved in together. That's that's good. I know. I, I can only wish I have that good of a set. That. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for having us on. Uh, for your run. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Means so much. Thank you. Yes. Uh, keep Iran. Uh. Uh. In on social media keep it alive keep talking about it everyone listening um it's uh, freedom is not uh reserved for borders because uh, freedom is borderless and um everyone all humans deserve it and uh it's it's it, let's make it a better world man um uh david wayne appreciate you guys so much uh everyone i'm pej the maniac follow me and subscribe to fumble podcast this has been episode 106 and i'll catch you guys on the next one Yeah.